All right, good morning from just outside of Chaozhou here in Pingtung County, Taiwan. Now, most people come to Taiwan and just visit the big cities like your Taipei, Taichung, Kaohsiung. But what about the rest of the country? So today, we've got ourselves some bikes and we're going to explore small town Taiwan. Let's do it. Let's bloody go. What the bloody hell is going on here? Look at this. There is just nobody on the road. This is mad. What a nice road as well. Look at this. It's well beautiful, proper green around here. It's just quiet, it's peaceful and it's just nice. Look at this, proper little old town. This is what you think of when you think of Taiwan. Look at that. Because I know for most of you it probably isn't. All right, now we've just pulled into Wanluan and this town is famous for one thing and you're gonna find out. We're going for some breakfast. And let me tell you what we're looking for, you can smell in the air as soon as you go into this area. This should be good. Okay, here we go. This is the reason we came to Wanluan town to try some of the famous pig trotters, pig feet. We've come into this little spot here. The lady's really nice in here. We're just sorting out the menu, deciding what to get. So here we've got our menu. So I think we're going to get a huge plate of the braised pig feet for 350 mm -hmm. maybe some rice. It smells really good. Excited for this. Big breakfast. I'm really excited. Okay, there we go. We've filled her in. Let's get this food ordered. Okay. This okay? And then... Oh, fan, okay, okay. Fan. Oh, oh, fun. Rice, okay, rice. Okay. 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 Very excited for this. We're the first ones in, we've come early morning, look. It's a really cool restaurant, you can tell this gets busy. Really nice and old school inside as well. Oh, shisheni. Oh, wow. That is ridiculous. Look at the size of this portion, holy moly. Oh, wow, there's more. Okay. Shisheni. Look at this. <laughs> This is amazing, thank you. Right, so the food's here. Let me run you through what we've got. This is special. So everything comes on this like spinning table. Look how cool this is. So I'm guessing usually you wouldn't come just two people. You'd come with like your whole family or your friends and everyone would sit around because you can spin this to everyone. But we've got, I've got to start with the bloody Wanloon pork trotters, pig feet. And these are braised in soy sauce and Chinese medicinal herbs. They look so good and the smell is incredible. Then we've got this special sauce. So again, smells well, but it smells like garlic, oh yeah. Then we've got some of this special kimchi, which they're actually selling in like big tubs, so that must be good. Look how good that looks. What's this one, Leash? It does like a different kind of kimchi. A different like kimchi. Cabbage, yeah. And then our, nice. our little rices, and then we've got the tea. Oh, we've got our pour us some tea. We've got some black tea. There we go. Look at that. This is an absolute feast. Let's try this bad boy then. Let's get some of the pork first. We've got to. But can we just admire this? This is beautiful. Are you ready, Lee? Smells so good. Yeah. Cheers. We'll try it on its own first there. Wow. That just melts in your mouth. That is so soft. Natural. That's good on its own. Yeah, exactly. Without anything, it's so good. The fat brings so much flavour. At least you're going to dip it in the magic sauce. Mm. That sauce is so good. So garlicky. Oh, wow. Let's give it a dip. Look at that. Oh, oh. Oh wow, that sauce is special. Yeah, you're right, garlicky. A little bit sweet, wow. Oh, this is so good. What's cool is that you can like pick which bit you want to have. So this, this that bit we just had was super lean. So like you can got the half and half piece, you've just got like the pure fat. Yeah, some are pure fat. Look at this one I've got on my plate. That is just pure gelatinous fat. Look at that, I'm skim. So I'm gonna try that with some of this special kimchi. That looks really good, look at this. Mmm. That's well good. Oh, it's cold, fresh, like butter, yeah. Mm. 
Kimchi as well will go. Oh, yeah. Oh, so delicious. Really sour. It looks a bit like wasabi. Mmm. Mm. It's really good though, yeah. It's got that burn, yeah. Really good. Alright, yeah. Okay, there we go. We'll suck into this, devour this. Let's just try that normal kimchi. That's oh, fantastic. This is so good. This is this is the best breakfast ever. <laughs> this is delicious. How to happy? Very happy. Just been called over to take a look at the pig trotters because they put them out on display on the road here. Now this whole street is dedicated like there's loads of different pig trotter shops. I think there's like four or five, but look at this. That is heaven, isn't it? Look at that. Look at them shining in the sun. Bloody well good. Right. Fantastic. If you're here, make sure just come here and try these. Well good. Okay, shishi, thank you. Tell me your thoughts and dreams. That was the best bit of the whole but it was like tender shredded consistency a bit all right lean. shut up mark wings are you the boss you are the uh, boss man maybe okay okay yeah. okay i'll take a higher bill another one more oh. one more for you but we, we, are, you. we are we are very full Oh, okay. Do you, want, do you want to eat more of that? Maybe, okay. yeah. Okay. Ah. okay. Right, so the boss man has just brought us over a little treat on the house. What is it? He said something tofu, I think. So it looks good. Is it like a dessert? Is it sweet? It looks really good. And he's also, I think he's refilling our special kimchi. Mm -hmm. Which is really nice. We're absolutely stuffed. This has been, it's killed us, this. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's very delicious. Very delicious. Very delicious. Very delicious. Very delicious. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> what is inside? What is um, um, kimchi? Um, uh, all material we made. Uh, oh, you make it all. Uh, vegetable. Okay, okay, okay. Vegetable. Okay, okay. No artificial. Okay, natural. It's very good. Very yeah, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Enjoy. Thank you so much. So we'll try this little dessert you brought over. I think it's a dessert. It looks like it. It looks very good. This is oh, uh, our this? catalog. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, we will have a look. Cage. Everything you sell or what? Rice. Uh, detail. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Our, uh, our story. story. Oh, we will have a look. Yes. Yes. Thank, you so thank you so much. I will try your dessert. Let's try the dessert. Oh, dessert? Why am I saying dessert? It looks like a dessert, but let me tell you, that's not. Is it meant to be? It's like some type of tofu, I think. And this on the top is again, the minced garlic, I think. That's strange, let's try this. What do you think of this? Mm, garlic. Yeah, I was expecting like some sort of sweet dessert. Oh, it's that, it's that sauce on the top of like a, a brown tofu thing. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. Delicious though. There we go, everyone. Interesting. It's tasty though. And then he's topped our kimchi off fully. And let me tell you, this, right, is absolutely incredible. Believe me. Believe me. Look at this. I think we've just found a pig's toe. Is that what that is? The little pig's toe? I think so. Is that this little toe now? Okay. Oh. Delicious, what is this? <laughs> that is a special dessert. Rice? Special rice. Oh, Black a bit. Oh, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're a very kind man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right, he's just given us. What is it? It's rice with black bean on. Black bean, yeah. Oh, yummy. Smells interesting, you know. I wouldn't have dropped it. Mm. It smells interesting. Let's try that. A little black bean and rice dessert. Look at that. Looks very strange. There's some chili in there. Wow. That's very interesting. 
Yeah, salty. Oh, it's strange. But yeah. I wouldn't class that as a dessert either. Why would I, it's just because I just keep thinking it must bring us over dessert. That's what I'm on about. That's interesting. I'm going to kill this man. Head to cycle. This is ridiculous now. Boss man has just brought us over another little plate of sides. And I don't know what this is. We're going to try it. It looks interesting. I'm telling you, there's not, I don't think there's been a day here in Taiwan where we've not been given a gift yet. It's getting a bit silly. So we'll try this. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, crunch it. It's got a very peculiar taste, that. I think it tastes like an onion. I don't know what that is. It's a bit weird. Hey, yo, here we go. One loan pork knuckle. Can you see this? It is for three to five people. There we go. That's just the pork. Not all these sides that we've got. At least think she's going to have an heart attack. Does this man know we've got a 25 kilometre cycle to do? I don't think he does. Right, that was so good. Now let's see the damage. Let's see how much that cost. Okay, do shall. Three hundred and eighty. Okay, thank you. It was very delicious. How to? Thank you so much. Thank you. There we go. What a spot. Breakfast the champions. That it was well good. So we're going to um, carry on on the quest. We're going to head off into the Taiwanese countryside. Let's have a look and see what's going on. I'm in Joe. This is this. Oh. Lee should just be offered a little drink. He won't let us not try this drink. Look at this. Oh, okay. Some type of. Is it alcohol? Yeah. This is a tea. Nice. Okay. Oh, it smells really strong. It smells nice. Oh, that's funky. Oh, that's funky, that. Hello. Oh. This is it. We're on it. Just a little bit, little bit. Okay. And you have Oh, that's cold. Is this one better? Look at Oh, I got it on my nose. It's quite good, that. Okay, shishi. Oh, you've got so much stuff, my friend, but we... We can't buy a bottle. We, we, um... We leave Taiwan. Okay, shishi, okay. Oh, oh, it looks, it does look very good, my friend. Shishi, shishi. Okay, thank you so much, thank you. Bloody hell, the most aggressive salesman in the world. We weren't even going to try that, but he wouldn't not let us try it, so we, we tried it. The leash nearly had a shorts on it, apparently. <laughs> oh my gosh, open. So there's a wedding on today in there, right? And this is the um, bride and groom's car that they arrived in. Look at this. Talk about arriving to your wedding in bloody style. Look at that. Right, on we go. Let's jump on bike. Go for a bit of a cycle. So this is Wanlun Town. A really small little number. So you can see here there's a few famous pork knuckle pig trotter shops. We just went to a random one, but as you can see by how busy these are, I think these are the famous ones. Can you see? A whole pig trotter street. Now I've just spotted this. I think this is... Ni hao. Zao. Is this... Ayu? Ayu. Washang Yao Yi Yifen. Yeah, so we're gonna have to get one of these. Uh, Ayu jelly drink. Uh, bloody Taiwanese classic, they're always so good. This will be refreshing. And I think it's actually this plant here. I think someone um, in a market really made us smell it. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna get a 35 cup, 35 Taiwanese dollars. The granny's really cute as well. Alicia's got a cup holder out. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, look at this geezer cycling past. Hello. Hello. There he goes. Get him with traditional hat on. Legend. The middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, there he is, just cars behind him. He's not moving. He's the king of the road. Shishi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. There we go. Let's try it first. So there we go. Do we have to shake? Shake? I was going to shake it anyway. There we go. All right. Let's try it. Way. Right, let's see the Ayu jelly drink. Phenomenal. Every time. That's the best one we've had yet. You can really taste the lemon, the lime. 
and the um, the jelly's just tasty. It's just like it's like a subtle. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's so refreshing. It's really refreshing. That's a well good way to start the day. That. Okay, so now we're gonna get off. Hey, up! Look at this bloody best thing we won on the claw machines. This. So you can have a sip whilst driving. Well, it's actually harder than it looks, but. And then we could put it here on the bike handle. Hands free, there we go. We're off. Drinking, driving. That's bloody good. <laughs> bloody hell, check this one out. Found a little cycle path. It's well nice around here. Listen to how quiet it is. You can't hear anything. It's like the opposite of everywhere else we've been in Taiwan. I love it. Look at here. We've got all these cows. Look at them all. And all the herons. Chilling out with them. What a nice place. I just love it. It's peaceful. It's green. Fresh air. Let's have a look at these cows here. They're right here next to the side. Look at this pulled over. Right next to our mates. Look at them all just chilling out. All the herons. I can tell you one thing. There's a strong smell in the air. Cow poo. But this is a nice place to sit, look. look at these nice benches. Some baby ones out here. And there's the shepherd man there with his big stick. Look at this, it's a cycle path, but you can bring your motorbike on here if you want. That's all right, isn't it? We've come to an absolutely well nice place. Check this out. Wan Luen Suspension Bridge. I'm gonna have a walk across here, but can you hear that? Some good old karaoke coming out of there. There's a few old people just belting it. But look at how gorgeous this is. So over there, there is actually a load of mountains, but we've got a bit of a bad day on luckily. So you can not you can kind of see the outline, but it's a bit hazy. But look at the views, we've got a temple over there, huge temple. And we're just down here by the river. It's proper green, got some like art they've done on here. This is well nice. Look at the view. Like on a clear day, I bet this is absolutely gorgeous when you can see the mountains as well. Look at that. It's a bit shaky as well. It's a proper suspension bridge, this is bouncing. So we're gonna head over here. So there's a bloody massive temple over there. Looks well nice, but from here you can hear a power tool, they're doing a bit of maintenance. And if you watch this channel, you know these power tools keep following us everywhere in the world. It's the most peaceful place in the world I could go to and someone will just pull up a disc saw and turn it on. So we're gonna admire from afar and carry on. We're cycling through these beautiful Taiwan countrysides. And it is really nice, you know, there's no one here, no traffic, no people, no noise, just like nature, green, mountains, rivers. Bit of karaoke. It's all right, you know. What a bloody view. Look at that. Look at this, we're just riding through these tiny little towns. There's not much going on, it's really chilled out. There's still some good looking little street food spots about though, but yeah, it's just so peaceful. It's proper small town life. Loving it. Look at this, no traffic, no bloody city traffic, no stress. Just chilling. So this here is what a school looks like here in Taiwan. They're always very nice, like very grand. This is just in a tiny village. They always remind me though, straight of Eastern Europe, like I'm back in Moldova somewhere. 
you just got that blocky look. It's so hot now, honestly. It's flipping roasting. At least just found some ladies. Jai. It's a very nice place. Yeah. Yes. We eat turkey rice. Yes, Jai food is very good. Jai food. So we've come into this proper cool little hacker village. And let me show you this. Right here we've got a hacker courtyard house that was built in 1864, it says here. And wait until you see in here, look at this. This is well nice, look at this. Wow, it's so nice, it's so old. What's this? Nothing, <laughs> but look around. Really, really cool. Yeah, you don't see many places like this anymore, do you? Is this the tower you think of? It's a far cry from the big city, the, the big modern type here. It is absolutely roasting today. It's so hot, honestly. It doesn't look it, because the sun's not out, but believe me, it's so hot. We've just come across another drink stand, and there's a picture of this special drink. It's 60 Taiwanese dollars. Now, I don't know what it is. So this is, is pineapple, pineapple on, yeah, and, uh, rice, and rice. rice. Okay. Can we get Hoshan Yao Yifen Jagger? Oh, which is best? Green tea is good? Yeah. Okay, green, okay, okay. Shit, shit, thank you. So this looks interesting. Yeah. Pineapple and rice. I don't know. This pineapple. Oh, this is the pineapple. Yeah. Oh, you, you made it here? Yeah, okay, yeah. so she put some like special pineapple in and then and then the rice is in the box. Oh, fermented rice. Oh, fermented rice. Is this going to be a bit sour? Oh, okay. Fermented rice. It's fermented rice, some sort of pineapple and green tea. Let's see what this says here. You just have to tell me what it is in English. That's, oh, they bought it. Alright, I don't know. Some sort of pineapple. And then the green tea over the top. Look at that. And ice. And I, I like Taiwan because they never put too much ice in the drinks. We keep realising this. So you actually get a lot of drink. You don't just get a cup full of ice like a lot of countries. This is well interesting. And then the lid goes on. Oh, and it comes in a little scoopy bag. Oh, okay, that's very nice. Okay, shishi. Yeah, look at that, you got a carrier. Okay, shishi. We have to shake, shake, okay. So we have to shake it up. Oh, okay, yeah, that looks strange, doesn't it? Beautiful Look at that. Since 2017, Ping Tung Natural 100%. So give this a big shake. You can see all the rice going everywhere. Is this going to taste like fermented rice? We're no stranger to fermented rice. Do you want to be, uh, do the honours leash? Look at that, straw comes in a little um, side pouch. Go on, try it. Mmm, yummy. Oh wow, super, you can really taste that green tea. And the pineapple's delicious, but not super sweet. Well, it's sweet first and it's like, you get that sour taste from the fermented rice, then it's sweet, then it's sour. It's a bit bitter. Wow, that is very interesting. Yeah, the fermented rice gives it a bit of a funky taste. Like the fermented rice desserts we've eaten in the past. Look at that, and it comes in a little, show us the bag. Oh, look at that, it's just tied that on. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, no plastic. Greta Thunberg would love this. That's quite that's interesting that, yeah. I'm glad we pulled over, you could hardly see this. It's like underneath this nice little tree. And the, the lady's really nice. What a good little coffee shop. And they also just do like classic, classic green tea. I think Leash might get one. Ooh. Okay, so Leash had to get a drink. She's just gone for a classic, what is it? Uh, it's just a milk tea. A milk tea with boba. So look how much boba you get in Taiwan. Look, that's <laughs> like nearly half the cup. They do it right, you actually get a proper generous amount. You know this was 35? That's quite good, that is quite good. It's proper mi proper milk as well. No creamer. Oh. But it's still, still good. Oh well. Ready? Oh my God. Looks well good that. 
Mm. They're good. Mm hmm. They're both good. Mm. Mm. But like when you get a good bowl boat, it's like you just know. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it's not hard and horrible. Mm. Like they're actually a joy to chew them. They're not like those. They taste good. They taste yeah. proper. They taste of something. You'll know if you know. So we're just going to ride through this little hacker village here, and it is so cool. Look at this old street. Look at some of these houses. It's mad. Look at this one. So nice. Proper nice little village. Just small streets, chill out. Really cool. We have a traffic jam going on here. Just look at it around here. It's like going back in time. This guy's got a cute dog. Anyhow. Well, I think we've got some hacker noodle shops. They look really good. Everything is so old, honestly. Like, look at the buildings. This is dead cool. What's he think, Leash? What's it like? I have no idea where we are here. It feels like we've just gone back 150 years. Look at this. It's well cool. Just found another proper nice little spot in this hacker village. Look at this. Got this pond. And a couple of young lads are doing a bit of fishing. This old man's there and he's teaching them what to do. He's, um, he's whipping them, he's getting them in line. So if you're doing it all wrong, you've got to do it like this, mate. Look how nice it is though. You can walk around here. Just next to all this. Housing around that hall. It's really cool. So I think these villages are centered around these holes in the middle. As you can see all the housing goes around the outside of it. And it's it's really cool. Never never been over anywhere like this. So really interesting for us to have a wander around. And the the local people are really nice and pleasant. There's a lot of mosquitoes though. And let me tell you, the mosquitoes in Taiwan are massive. They're like drones. You, you swat them and you can feel them. Like you, you can tell you've hit something. They're that big. Looks like it's going to rain. And unluckily again, you can see in front there's a massive mountain. I wish you could see that. This village is essentially surrounded by mountains. We just can't see them because it's a bit hazy. But yeah, it's 100% just like going back in time. 100 200 years just feels like you're in a little hacker Chinese village back in the day look at us bucket hat crew look at this look where we're cycling the views are stunning look at the mountain shadow over there there's just no one here look at these for some proper views you can nearly see those mountains in the distance. It's clearing a little bit. Looks like he's gonna piss it down. Oh, please don't rain. Look at this. On the way into this town, a statue of Murray. That'll give you a clue of what we're going to visit. Just down here. Now this is a very special place we've just stopped off at. This is the oldest church in all Taiwan. This was built in 1870, over 150 years ago, and it's gorgeous, look at this. Really, really nice. And yeah, it's, it's raining. Weather's took a bloody nose dive. But, show us what we got, Leash. There was a nice tour group here, and I just went over and I said, oh, how much to give <laughs> us one of these ponchos? And the lady just gave us some for free. She said, she should have these. So we'll take a look inside. So we've got some ponchos. So it's a basilica, the Pope. It's the only basilica in Taiwan. The really? Pope, yeah, the Pope gave it the title of basilica. Wow. So you can see it's beautiful. We'll take a quick look inside. Oh, 
Wow, it's actually really nice in here. And it's all open, as you can see at the side. So we'll be quiet now and just take a minute. But you can see from the side, the doors. And from the windows, you've got this beautiful like courtyard area and the mountain view is behind. Right, so we'll take a minute in here. Oh no. That is not good. This is not going to be fun. So now we just cycle home all the way back to Chaozhou in the rain. Bloody hell. This is going to be a soggy ride home. Look at this. It looks miserable now. It's rained. So many nice little small towns out here in Taiwan and they've all got so much character. The people. The people in these towns are really nice, really warm and friendly, welcoming. And there's loads of good food, loads of unique things like regional specialties. Like everywhere you go, it's got like an ancient shop selling like some type of food, dessert or whatever, snack, you name it. So here we go. Let's hope it doesn't rain again. I mean, we've got our ponchos, but who wants a soggy ride home? Just going on a quick little detour just to look at these mountain views because it has rain but it's made the atmosphere pretty cool you know with the clouds up there it's nice just enjoying it isn't it look at that the mountains run all the way in the distance look at this again for a view the rain has actually cleared our mountains up a little bit you can see just how beautiful it is out here in the Taiwanese countryside now in the small towns. No skyscrapers around here. This is your view. You've got a natural view. Bloody massive green mountain range. And it's just so peaceful. It's beautiful around here. You can just ride around. You don't even need to know where you're going. Look, I don't know where we are. We're just taking these little back roads, all these little streams, rivers. In fact, a lot of the water around here is actually spring fed. We saw a spring earlier, but look at this. It's beautiful. Let's quickly go down here. Really, really beautiful. Again, this ain't what you think of when you think of Taiwan. Well, I'm, I'm guessing so. Most people on YouTube just show the, um, the modern cities and the likes, but get out and have a bit of an explore. It's bloody well nice. Flipping well nice, isn't it? Look at that, look at the backdrop. Like, come on. Where are we? You tell me where we are, I don't know. But when I shut my fat gob, it's no noise. Wow, it's gorgeous. Really, really nice. Feels like you're in a time warp everywhere we've been today, like 100, 200 years ago. Ah, so this right here is one of the infamous betel nut shops here in Taiwan. It's a very big thing here in Taiwan. You'll see people chewing betel nut everywhere. And they usually, they used to have ladies in. You know, they used to have ladies in. They used to have them like wear underwear and stuff and sell the betel nut. But then tourists complain shock, so they got rid of that. But you'll see these all over Taiwan. You notice the like, the flashing coloured lights and that's how you know it's here. So yeah, don't fancy it right now, do you? Fancy some betel nut? No. <laughs> so you can see on the door here, you have the beetle nut that they wrap in the beetle leaf and they put this like paste in. I can't remember what it is, I think it's just for like a bit of flavour, a bit of bit, it's like a bit bitter I think. And then yeah, supposedly it's really like you've had about six coffees. Um, yeah. There you go, if you're in Taiwan, have a do on the beetle nut. You, you, you see it everywhere. Right, so we're just cycling home. We drove past this, I think we spotted some Taiwanese wheel cakes. I think that's what these are, yeah, they smell so good. Ni hao. Ooh. Do you want to try? Yes, how much are they? Do xiao chin. Uh, 12. 12. Can yeah. we get one each? Can we get two, please? Yes. yes. And what you want to, which test? Oh, what is? Bean, hong dong nai what's most delicious? Uh, hong dong nai yang. Ren bean and milk. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, we'll have that. One, yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So this is really cool. Can I please have... 
Can I have a look in here? Yeah, sure. This is very interesting. You are you are making them fresh. Okay. Oh, Where are you from? From England. England. Oh. He's throwing the batter into these each. Yes. So you put the batter yes. and then the filling. Yes. And more batter on top. Or? Yes. yes. And now is the this is and the. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. So, mm. so they like um, double them up like a sandwich. Oh, you can yeah. see that. So take this side. Red bean. Red bean, okay. Red bean. And she puts that on top of one of these. Oh, wow. This is our first time trying these in Tawa. We, oh. We've seen them, but we've never tried, so oh. we're trying them out. Okay. 12 each. Proper roadside snack, Murphs. This is just what we need, some energy on the way home, because we're, we're tired. <laughs> okay, Thank perfect. You. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Shish. They're fresh. They're hot? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, Shish. Thank Shishini. you so much. Right, we've got our bloody wheel cakes. Look at this. Oh, that is heavy. I was going to say that really took me by surprise. It weighs quite a bit. That. So they are um, the fresh pot. Smell really good. Smell like a nice cake. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try them. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. It'll be a surprise. Let's have a do. Oh. Oh, mine's the milk one. Oh. That is stuffed. Absolutely full. You know the red bean? Yeah. What is there, man? It's milk. It's just milk, I think. It's really good, it's like mm. sweet and creamy inside, you can see in there. Look at that. And it is stuffed, look, mm. like it's oozing out the filling. It's actually mostly filling. Not at all. I know, it's very good. Mm. It's like a nice cake, it's really good, this. Nice, not too sweet. Mm. This is really good. I'll Thank, you. Thank you so much, it's really good. What is inside this one? This is milk. Milk? milk. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Is that a bean one? Yeah, let's have a bit more. Oh, it's well with that. You like that one? That one's comforting. Mm, mm, mm. Let's try the red bean, the absolute classic. Is it like custard? Yeah, I, I was trying to think of a comparison, a bit like custard. Try the red beanie. Look at that. Oh, it's good. Was the outside? Mmm! The outside's crispy but the soft. <laughs> the outside is crispy but the soft. Oh, I'm gonna just put my brain in the bin. The outside is crispy but the inside is nice and soft. And the red bean filling is really good. Like slightly savoury. Mmm. What a spot, look at this. We drove past this, smelt it before we saw it, we knew we had to stop at this. It's just a truck. At the side of the road here, busy road. What is your name, Matthew? Uh, Eric. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rod. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you prefer the countryside in Taiwan or the big cities like Taipei? Uh, actually, I love the countryside. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's why I stay here. Oh, good answer. Yeah. We've um, we've spent all our time so far in the city, and now we've come here. It's so nice. It's quiet, and uh, yes. everyone's so friendly. And it's really relaxed. Yes. Oh, sure. We like it. We like it. Okay. Thank you. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We got one more, aren't we? Yeah. The milk one. These are really good. But like you can feel the filling in there. It's like are you a YouTuber? Yes, we make YouTube videos. Uh, yes. <laughs> really? Can I, I will show you, yes, yes. Okay. Oh. Which one is your favourite? Milk up. or red bean? Which is your favourite? Um combine? Oh. Yeah, you can mix. Ah. Yeah, oh you yeah. do tapioca? Yes. Boba. Yes. Oh. We have bubble. We have to try one. Yeah. We have to try one bubble. Can okay. we get one bubble, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you need to wait. Okay, oh, yeah. no problem. We'll get one of them. So we've ordered another one because I just saw them making these. So we're getting boba and these mixed it with milk there. So this looks really good. Is this your mother? Yes. Oh, so it's a family business. Look, a family bit roadside family business. Okay. They're the best. This is the best. How old are you? Now 29. 29. 29. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have sold in this spot for 10 years? Yes. Right, yeah. This right here? Yes. Oh, okay. oh. Because uh, in the weekend, only weekend I just walk here oh, okay, with my okay, parents. Okay. Yeah. But are they open every day? Yes. yes. I, no, only afternoon. Only afternoons, only okay. Afternoon. Okay, so in here you can see they have all their raw ingredients. So this is the red bean. Red bean. We've got the milk. Yeah. The this is taro. Yeah. And then the boba we have as well. Uh, the boba. The boba over there somewhere. 
Oh, so here are the boba. Yeah. The little tapioca bubbles. So this is what we're getting now, milk and boba. Oh, they look good. Yes. Okay. Are they sweet? S sweet. They look like they have like sugar in, no? Brown little sugar. And are they tall? Little, little, are they little. Tall? They look really good. So we're still waiting because it's going to be fresh. Fresh as it gets. Okay, we've got our last wheel cake and this thing is so hot, it's so fresh. So hot. Yeah. Super hot, yeah. It's really hot. Is it gonna burn me inside? I hope not, right. So we're gonna try this. This is the boba and milk. I'm gonna be careful with this. I've got a feeling it's gonna burn me, but this one's so nice, proper crisp. Crisp to it. Lava. Absolute lava. I can't eat that. We're gonna have to wait. We've given it a minute to cool down because honestly, this thing was like lava inside. But look at the cross section. Look at all that juice oozing out. You've got the boba, you've got the milk. Let's see if we can actually bite it this time. Oh. Pretty good, though. That might be my favourite. That's really good. <laughs> the boba are really good in there. Try that, Lish. Is it hot still? Very hot. You'll be able to manage. Mmm, not good. The bowl mm. were nice. Tastes like brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh, bad. that's the best, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much, this year. Oh, this is fantastic, this spot. Really, really happy we stopped here. Look at this. The most unassuming spot ever. Well, well, good. Okay, my friend, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, best of luck. Really nice to meet you. Okay. Goodbye. Really, really nice people as well. Goodbye. But family business can't beat it. Support the local people. I'm full of boba and wheel cakes. Everybody's out on big cycles. Oi, oi. Ni hao. Hello. Hello. There we go. Look, big family out on a Sunday on the bikes. Look at us. Granddad's going for it. Oh, DL. Oh, mate, it's on a big fat run. Look at this. He's going faster than me, and I'm on a bike. Champion. There he goes. Go on. <laughs> Bloody killing it, innit? Fitter than me, and I'm 26. Oh. It's a race against time, it looks like it's raining everywhere around us. But not here yet, can we do it? I think we've got like 10, 15 minutes left. It's been a slog this, it's been a long bike ride. Believe it or not, as soon as I knocked the camera off then, it started to rain. It's bloody raining. Back I'm in England. Absolutely bloody typical, isn't it? Look, Alicia's got a poncho on that we got given. This is absolute disgusting weather. Oh my, look, bike's getting bloody piss wet. Oh, this ain't what you need. Come on. Alicia's off, look at her going to raincoat. I'm doing it old school, check it out. We got the brolly. One hand on the wheel, one hand on the brolly. There we go, jobs are good and doing it like all the old men are in town. Here we go. We can do this. Right, we're back at the house now. We just dropped the bikes off, had a bit of a sit down. We're gonna now head into Chaozhou town and show you around, get some food and drink. We cycled 30 kilometers. That was an absolute grueling day. I mean, it was so good though. Like we saw the countryside here in Taiwan's beautiful. Everyone's chilled out. It's really, really nice place. I wish more, more people should explore the whole country. It was really fun, but yeah, 30 kilometers. It was a long one. So here we go. We're gonna head into Chaozhou City centre to the old street. Ni hao. Hello. Teaching her. Get out to ride a bike. Go on. Go on, son. <laughs> Don't stabilise us. Here we go. Alright, this is like pretty much the heart, the centre of Chaozhou city town. This is like as busy as it gets. This big central roundabout. Now there's a few spots here. We're going to actually head to that spot after for a shaved ice dessert. It's legendary, apparently. But first we're going to head down here, down the old street and have a look. There's so much stuff though. What's this star fruit juice, I think? This is another shaved ice shop. Which looks really good. At least just found a little dog that looks like he's just had enough of life. Oh, <laughs> Ni hao. <laughs> Apparently it bites. It looked like it. 
but it would buy, doesn't it? it? Look like it's just standing up for its life. I said by accident, is it cute? But <laughs> is it bite? She went, no. no. So we're gonna head down here. We went down the bloody wrong street. This is the street we're looking for. We're gonna hit up a spot that I think is down here. It should be anywhere, but yeah, it's cool. There's so much stuff, so many good looking food spots. And yeah, just classic Taiwan. Stuff everywhere. Really cool. The streets in Taiwan are always so cool. So much going on. So much like character. So many good people. It's just good. Good, isn't it? It's got a Vietnamese restaurant here. What's this? Right, so here in Chaozhou, there is a little tea shop that actually looks amazing if you want to buy some like fresh loose leaf tea. But this place is special because they've got a pet goose. And our mate is telling us that this goose is 12 years old. And it's always just here outside the shop. It looks like he's having a bad day today, doesn't he, though? He does not look too happy today, Mr. Goose. <laughs> Hello. Ni hao. Are you all right? No, he's not having a good day today, but... But 12, 12 years old. 12. Yes, yes. What is the name of the goose? Yeah, I'm not No, okay, don't worry. We'll find out. Shi shen me ming si. Shi shen me... Appa. Oh. It's not a grumpy goose anymore. Look at the size of this goose. Can I feed it one? Can yeah, I try? What is the name again? Uh, Appa. 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 Excuse me, mate. What the hell? Double C. Double C. It's a girl. Though. It's a girl. Oh, oh. My friend, my friend, be nice. Oh, what the hell? Be nice. Be gentle. Come on. There you go. Some more biscuit for you. Come on, go on, go on, go on. The bit I've got. <laughs> Come on. It doesn't, it doesn't, oh, there you go, there you go. Oh. <laughs> this is your, your goose. Your goose. Okay. Will the goose attack me if I touch? Can I, can I, or not? I can? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm scared he's gonna like flick his neck and get me. My friend, my friend. Ah! <laughs> he got me, he got me, he got me. She got me. Okay. Okay, okay. She, she, nice to meet you. Okay, enjoy your snacks. Oh, um, this? Jigger, jigger. How to, how to. Very good. Oh, she still lays egg. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, no more. Okay, okay. But well, goose eggs are very delicious. They are how to, how to. Very tasty, yeah. Goose eggs are really delicious. Well, there you go. The famous goose of Chaozhou City. Right, yeah. And she is grumpy, yeah, but as soon as them snacks came out, she chirped up, didn't she? Okay, goodbye. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. Oh, she's on some cabbage now, a bit of lettuce even. Oh, it's, she's having a feast today. Got to give her some lettuce leash. Sorry, I think it's really cute that Granny's just got this goose, isn't it? Yeah, this is such a weird sell. So this is just a tea shop. They have a goose. They've had it for 12 years and it's always here right in front of the shop. Like, only in Taiwan, eh? It is a famous goose. My mate's translated saying, the goose has many fans. It's a big belly. It's a fit. Famous all over Taiwan. Taiwan, famous. Like, yes, a, yes. like a pop Theater. star, movie star. Uh, like a famous a, person. A, a Everybody know. Hey. Yes. But the famous goose. You can't say I don't provide you with top content. We're now just looking at her bloody belly because it's literally touching the floor. <laughs> My mate said it eats too well, eats too much food. It is well looked after. 12 years old, it's still going. Right, okay. I think it's time we went. Look, the goose has many fans. People are coming from all over Taiwan to see. What's she called? Appa? I can't remember. Oh, what's he doing to it? Oh, it likes him. Oh, he. Oh, it trusts him. She trusts him. What happened when I tried that, kids? It bloody went for me, didn't it? He's soothing it. He's singing it some Chinese love songs. In a minute, it's gonna go. Yeah. Look. Maybe today she's had too many visitors on a Sunday and she just wants to go to bed now. Maybe, to be fair. She might be tired. Every goose has its day. Grumpy goose. Bloody famous geese. 
top quality content. So, what we're going to do now is head under here, under this gate. There's actually a temple here, it looks, which looks really beautiful. But we are coming to try one of these. It's a legendary tea spot. I think it's over 50 years old in the business. And they sell bags of tea, and I hope they have some, because it's looking a bit like they don't have anything. Ni hao. Hello. You have, you have tea? Cha? Oh yeah, they do in here. Can we get a uh, Woshan Yao Langa? Langa, yes, two please. Yes, please, yes, yes. So we're gonna get two of these. I think there's 13 each. Look, they come in a little bag. Let's get our coins out. Okay. Do I pay with 50? So this is a proper classic spot, best. Looks like a right old chap, isn't it? Cheers, cheers. And this is the boss man on the wall. Yeah, this is the boss man. I don't think he's alive anymore, sadly, but this is his legacy. Okay, cheers, cheers. That lady's definitely just thinking, why have you got a camera right here? What are you doing, you weirdo? But here we go, we've got our tea. So this is Chinese cooling medicinal tea that comes in a bag. 1966. 1966? Wow. Look at that, pretty cool bag though. Should we try it? Yeah, cheers. cheers. Mm. Oh, that's really good. No, it's not really bitter. A little bit sweet. Florally, I think. A little really? bit floral, like that medicine -y. And 13 Taiwanese dollars, that's a steal, because you get... How much do you get? You get a decent amount, to be fair. Not a small bag. Oh, that's just what we need after this hot day. A nice cooling tea, yeah? Mm. That's so yummy. I love that. Look at that camel out. I don't know. But yeah, there we go. Here, next to that beautiful temple there. Chaozhou is a really nice little place. It's quiet, quieter than the big cities will say. And yeah, it's just, it's a lot more chilled out. The people are more chilled out. That tea were really good, really refreshing, but it's got this weird lingering aftertaste that I can't put my finger on like. Oh, it's, it's weird. It was really good, but that, that aftertaste, like, I just can't tell you, but it's, it's weird. So this spot here also looks really good, they're very busy, so we're going to have a look inside here. See if we can eat in at the back and see what they've got. Because I've, I've seen the steamers, so they make it like huge steamed dumplings it looks like. Like, like big steamed cakes, steamed meatballs. We'll see, we'll see. So we've got a nice eating area at the back here, look, with telly on and Urk on and fans. There we go. Let's have a sit. And then we've got some chilli oil on the table. Look at that. That's what you want on your table, everyone. That looks well good. So we'll try and order. So we've got our menu, and it's one of them that I can't read because it's in like a, a strange font. But Leisha just picked up the pen, and what is this? Like, that's a, that's a crayon that's been like shaved and like stuck into a piece of plastic. That is, that is DIY, yeah, engineering at its finest. Look at that. Right, let's get this sorted out. So here's our food, and it actually looks really good. We've got the pig blood cake soup, and this is, wow, <laughs> there's a lot of blood cake in that. Look at the chunks there, this is ridiculous, and there's a lot of green onion in there. It smells really good to be fair. And then this is what we, um, we're looking forward to. Now she said, do you want garlic or no garlic? Why would you order this with no garlic? So this is actually like a steamed meatball, with all that minced garlic on the top. It's full of pork. And yeah, it looks really good. I'm just gonna try this little broth because it looks really good, doesn't it? And it tastes really good. That's really delicious. That is, that is good. So yeah. Oh, that's good. Let's try this. Let's, let's get stuck into that. How do we go about this then? What do I do? Do I just kind of like cut it? Oh yeah, oh wow. Oh, holy moly. Look at all the pork in there. That is absolutely stuffed. That Gosh, oh, I've made a right mess of this. So there we go, we've got some of the garlic, we've got a bit of everything. That looks phenomenal. I'm gonna try that. Mm. Mm. Oh, the garlic hit my throat. That's so good, because it's like huge chunks of pork. I thought it was gonna be minced pork, but look, no. That's so good. 
Then we've also got that pig blood cake soup. We'll get a piece here and then we've got a dipping sauce, so we'll give it a little dip. There we go. Oh, it's very hot. That's good. A good blood cake doesn't have much of a flavour, it's just a subtle flavour, but these are really clean tasting, these are really good. Really nice texture, a little bit like, a little bit like jelly. It's really good actually. There we go. What's the broth like? Quick test. Delicious, all round delicious. A little bit irony tasty maybe. Now we've just got to, haven't we? Got to put some of this on. This looks like really good chili oil. So this one, there we go. And we'll put some in the blood cake soup as well. See how that is, and then. There we go. Let's try that now with some of the chili oil. If I can get some. There we go, look at that with all the chili flakes. That beautiful chili oil, the chili oil in town is so good. If you, get there, if you go to a good place. Oh yeah. Very good. Look at that one, it looks like a bloody jellyfish top. So she's gonna cut open the fresh one. When you cut it open, then a huge piece of pork just fall out. Because it, it's a giant bloody thing. What would you call that? A meatball, a dumpling, a steamed dumpling, a steamed meatball, what? I don't know, it looks, oh, it looks good. I'm getting Leash's food review. I'm trying to look on itself. It's quite a huge piece of the board. It's really good. It's so soft. Okay, fish here. Goodbye. Right, there we go. Now that. Only costs 55 Taiwanese dollars. That's a bloody cracking price. What the hell? So we might have one more snack left in us. Look, night time, all the lights are on. Oh, what are they selling? They're selling like a um, bao bum sandwiches. Right. We're going to have to patronize one of these spots on the crossing. There's a few of them selling the same thing. We're going to pick a side. So I think we're going to choose this one, which I think is a very old, long-standing business, and it's very busy. And we don't really know what we're getting. A classic Taiwanese shaved ice dessert. I don't know what this is. I can see we've got some sort of taro in there. We've got red bean. We've got some balls of something. I don't know. What is the best? What is the most famous? Uh, most, del oh, most delicious. Like, how, how to... I don't know what to get. This one. Which, which is best? <laughs> you choose, you choose. Well, let's let him choose. Just, we know it's a shaved ice dessert with loads of toppings, but we'll see. This one? Okay. Okay, okay. Just one or two? Okay, just one, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get one of them, whatever, whatever he said. One of them. Okay. How much is it? 60. 60. Lucy. 60. Right, so I think he just throws a load of mixed ingredients in. I have no idea. Do you know what this is? No, well, yeah, I actually do not. No, it's so canola. So this is taro that she's putting in now. And red beans. Is this all one? This is all, this is all one. Okay, so we've got the taro, hong dao, red bean, red bean, okay. This is Oh, I don't know what that is, but it looks good. Do you get these? No. I got okay. Oh, and then okay, okay. What's this one? Same, same. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever we get, we get. And then she's actually putting all the shaved ice on top. Now you can hear it. Um, it's in a little spinning wheel. Okay, this is chaotic. I like it. Okay. Okay, okay. It's massive. Wow. This year. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. There you go, Leash. Thank you. Right. Here we go. So, is this the one that's hot on the reef? Yeah, so everything, all the ingredients that she put in before the ice are hot. Right, we just asked the man if we mix it or not, and I think he said we don't mix it. He gave us a resounding no. He said just kind of like scoop underneath. But I guess if you mix it, all the ice would just melt because it's hot. So, we'll just, should we get some Leash? Yeah. <laughs> 
So what are we gonna get? It's like, oh, you just get a mix of random ingredients, some ice, let's try it. Great, cheers. That's weird, you know what? The ice is super cold, but then you do get the warm ingredients, so you've got that warm and cold taste in your mouth, but once and like, they mix and it's weird. It's mung bean, that little thing's loads of mung bean. Mung bean. Yeah. That's quite tasty, you know? Very sweet, it? No, it's not very extremely sweet, it's very mild, but it's weird because of that hot and cold mix I'm telling you about. I just thrown it myself. I really like that. It reminds me of Che in Vietnam, the Vietnamese is that. Because of the like more stable ingredients. It's quite good that. And it's massive and this was 60, so that's the taro like paste to it. Let's try a bit of that. Some ice. I like it. I really like it. So that was 60. What do you think? It's nice, yeah. It's just not, not as sweet as I thought. Kind of like Che, you're right, but it doesn't have that like, milky texture to it. It's just ice. It's nice, yeah. It's refreshing. So here it is. The prize jewel. This is exactly what Leash wanted. I've been craving this. I think there's only one in the whole bowl. I really hope it's what I think it is. Let's find out. What's inside? Mm. Mm. What is it? Peanut? Oh, peanut does stuff ball. My favourite thing ever. It's so good. Can I finish it? You can finish it, yeah. So there's also those balls in there that stuff with like peanut. Really, really classic spot. That was so good. Definitely gonna come back while we're here. Tomorrow, Ming Tien. Okay, she she. Okay, goodbye. Check it out. You cannot be an old school shaved ice spot anywhere in the world. Believe me, you can. It's, it's always goes down the street. Like that dessert in every country is always so good. Bloody hell, bikes. I say every country. There is actually a country out there that. Doesn't do it very well, I'm not gonna name it, but you might not. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Right, so we were bloody knackered yesterday and I didn't film an outro, but here we are the day after. This is where we're staying here in Chaozhou. I'm just gonna quickly show you this place. It's really nice, the owners are absolutely lovely. A family owns this house and they rent out a few rooms. Up here we got like washing machines, like a place to dry your clothes. I'm just gonna quickly show you the room. Look at this cool picture. I'm just going to show you the room. Moz nets because Taiwan has massive mosquitoes, some of the biggest I've ever seen, genuinely. So this is our room, really nice. I like the floor bed, I really do enjoy it, you know. Got an aircon because it is hot. Nice little bathroom. Really simple but really cosy. But there's one thing that needs to go, and it's this. Let, let's get these off walls, worldwide. The, the French stuff, the Paris stuff, you see it everywhere, let's, let's do away with it, put it in bin. Nobody wants that rubbish. <laughs> right, so, here we go. What a little day we had yesterday on that bike trip here in Chaozhou, the surrounding areas here in Pingtung County, Taiwan. More people need to explore rural Taiwan, small town Taiwan, because it's really cool. The people are super friendly. There's stuff everywhere, stuff to see everywhere you go, and I've just walked into this wire nearly bloody, right? Stuff everywhere. It's really good. Yeah, we just had such a good time. We're already saying we want to come back to Taiwan and explore like the whole country in like in more depth. So yeah, nice little residential street in it. This room, it's quiet. That's the thing here about Chaozhou. It's a lot quieter than like the big cities. So we're really enjoying it. So we enjoy watching. And yeah, Taiwan's beautiful. See you later. And just a quick one while we're talking about how nice the owners of where we're staying are. We've just come downstairs and they've left us a little note in the fridge. Sweet potatoes for Ellis and Alicia. Have a nice trip. Look. Left us some sweet potatoes. How lovely is that? It's really nice, that. It's so good. Really nice. Keep, keep leaving like little thoughtful things out for us with little notes like that. Really nice. And this the house is beautiful, honestly. I'll just show you the street super quick. I know we've already finished the video, but I'm just going to show you anyway. There we go, just a chill residential street.